Hello everyone, it's Jen. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I'm creating three cards. I'm playing along with the Mojo Monday Two Sheet Wonder Challenge. And this is where you cut two sheets of six by six uh, paper and you create three cards with it. So I grabbed the So Much Pun Doodlebug paper pad from my stash to use a couple sheets. And I'm using the Simon Says Stamp So Pun Friends and the I Choose You stamp set. So I'm still digging into my stash, getting out those stamps I haven't used yet. And I'm using the Mexican food themed images from the stamp sets and from the paper pad. So there are instructions on how to cut the paper and I'm not gonna lie, I was not very good at following the display the instructions. So I will point out, which I did not see the first time I cut into this pattern paper, this is the second time I'm cutting it, that there is a little arrow that shows you where to do the first cut. So pay attention to that. So once I have my papers cut, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start on card number one. And you can see the sketch to the top right hand side there. They provide three sketches to work from for the Two Sheet Wonder Challenge. So I'm just going to use my Distress Oxide ink here in Fossilized Amber to create a little bit of a blended background for my image. And I was really inspired to do this challenge. I was watching Christy Marcotte and she created three cards using Lawn Fawn paper and images. And I thought I would give my hand uh, at trying this little challenge and it was super fun. So I encourage you all to play along. I'm gonna leave links down below to Christy's video and her blog, as well as the link to the blog post for the Mojo Monday Two Sheet Wonder Challenge. And I can't remember if I said, but it's open till the end of April. So I do hope you play along. And if you do, don't forget to tag me on your photos so I can see your creations. So you can see here, I'm just adding some brown cardstock to mat my pattern paper. I'm following this sketch pretty closely. Now these images I already had colored out. I did this about a year ago for one of the 30 day coloring challenges that Kathy Rakusen hosts. So I've colored up every image in this stamp set, well, both of the stamp sets, and they've been sitting there. So as we stay home and stash bust, I thought I would go ahead and get these images on some cards instead of having them sit in my drawer. So I have a ton more of images, like I said, from the stamp set. If you want to see more cards using those up, let me know down in the comments and I can create another video using up those images. They are super cute. And like I said, they're already all colored, so easy for me to do some more videos. So for this particular sketch, I did decide to cut this long, skinny piece of pattern paper in half so that it went down longer on that one side of the card. I'm not sure that I love it in the end. I probably just should have kept it how it was and gone with the sketch. Uh, but I do like to try to change things up just a little bit. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but not a big deal. So you can see here, I'm just adding an extra piece of cardstock behind that panel that's going to hang off the other one just so that it's nice and even and there's no dips in the paper. This is a trick that I've also learned from Christy Marcotte. She is great with her pattern paper and I learn a lot from her. You can see I added a piece to the back of this circle element as well where it's going to uh, hang off both of those other rectangle shapes. So now that I have all the pattern paper down, I can go ahead and place my image, my little taco, and the speech bubble comes in one of the stamp sets as well, and I stamp the sentiment, taco, taco about amazing. As you can see, I did use some glitter cardstock. This is from uh, Pink and Main. I love their glitter cardstock. This came in a previous kit that I worked on for them. 
and I think it ties in the green from the pattern paper. So we're moving on to card number two, and I think in the end, this one turned out to be my favorite. So again, I'm grabbing that fossilized amber, just gonna add a little bit of ink blending to that white card stock, and I'm going to adhere that down with my liquid adhesive to a piece of brown cardstock from my stash. I cut out a rectangle of the green glitter cardstock. Just cut out the center of that. I didn't want to waste it. It's too pretty to waste. And no one's going to see it anyways, so I cut out the middle just to have that frame behind these two pieces of pattern paper. I love that little red and white print. It reminds me of a tablecloth. And then the little pattern paper with the tacos and the burritos and all the Mexican food is just super cute. So for this piece of brown cardstock, because so much of it is showing, I decided to run it through my Big Shot machine inside of an embossing folder. I don't use my embossing folders very much and I don't have very many. So again, this was another excuse to go into my stash and use something I haven't used in a while. I did add a stamp block onto that just so that the liquid adhesive would adhere nicely to that uh, cardstock. And I didn't get this square lined up the first time I placed it down, so I did pull it up gently and then recentered that on to the pattern paper. So now that the card design is done, I can add my three little burritos. And this sentiment reads, your neato burrito. I thought these three cards would just be fun cards to send that would hopefully, hopefully bring a smile to someone. And it was great to be able to use up these images. So for the two on the back of the panel, or behind that centered one, I just went ahead and adhered those down straight to the panel with liquid adhesive, and then I popped that middle one up on some foam tape. There's card number two complete, and now we're going to move on to the third card. So this card I struggled with, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know when you have an idea in your head and you can't let it go? Well, I had it in my head that I was going to get this die cut hello sentiment on this card. And I think in the end it was a little too busy, but you'll see how I play with it. And in the end, just can't give up on the idea of having it on this card. Um, but first of all, I'm going to work on the elements for the card design. For some reason, I didn't cut that piece of brown card stock to the proper size so I just trim that up using my Tim Holtz tonic guillotine trimmer and then I can go ahead and add the green pattern paper to the brown card stock and for this little panel as well I decided to cut it just to have it a little bit longer on the card to fill out the card a little bit more so there wasn't as much pattern paper showing behind it. You're not going to see this because the rectangle will uh, cover that up. I did want to just pull that over a little bit more, so I just gently brought that up and I'm going to add a little bit more liquid adhesive and just shift it a little bit more to the right hand side. And that, I think, looks better with a little bit more of that green showing to the left. So again, I'm just going to add my stamp block on top of that so that it dries nicely. Bringing out that fossilized amber again, this just kind of gives unity to all three of the cards and just adds a little bit interest behind the images. I'm going to add a couple layers of scrap cardstock to the side that's going to be hanging off the uh, two little squares now, seeing I've cut that long skinny rectangle in half. And then I realized that I almost forgot to add this band before I laid down that rectangle uh, panel. I also wish I would have added the brown cardstock behind this focal panel here. It's the only piece of pattern paper, this isn't pattern paper, it's the only piece of paper that I didn't put that brown cardstock on the backing. And I think it would have looked better with it, but 
nonetheless, I think it still turned out cute. So because the little guacamole and the nacho chips, which are so stinking cute with their little faces, but because they are so tiny, I wanted to bring in this Hello uh, die cut. So this is an MFT Hello word, and I just cut it out a couple times with white cardstock, and then a third time with that green glitter cardstock from Pink and Main, and just added them so there was some added dimension. And like I said, I was determined to get it on this card. In the end, I'm not sure if it's too busy. Um, I I should have gone without it, but hindsight, you know what they say, it's always 2020. So it is what it is. You can see that I'm trying to figure out placement and then I take it off and try to figure out if I want to have it without it. So I'm just going to have the little nachos and the guacamole dip sitting on top of that banner which comes in the Simon Says Stamp stamp set and it says you guac my world. So that banner die is really great. There's a number of sentiments that fit into it that go with the little images in the stamp set. You can see how much I fiddled with this layout. I'm going to add two of the nacho chips behind the little guacamole div, which is kind of the focal of this card. I had that fourth one there to the top and I wanted to have him originally so it looked like he was kind of falling. I'm not really sure why he would be falling from the top of the card, but anyways, I play with the placement of this too, but there was just too many of them to have it uh, in that cluster of the images. So I do decide in the end to put it in the top right hand corner just as more like an embellishment. I did kind of uh, put that hello on an angle and maybe I should have left it there and it would have been okay if I had left this final little nacho chip off. But again I had them colored and so I wanted to put it on the card. I could have put it on the inside maybe. But while I'm trying to figure out if I'm actually going to put that on the card, I'm going to bring in some of these little hearts cut from the glitter cardstock. This is from a die called the Lovely Little Borders by Heffy Doodle. It cuts out the perfect size hearts for embellishments. Now I'm going to put that heart to the top right and then I'm going to decide to put the nacho chip up there. And I'm going to add that little heart on top of it. I think it looks cute, but I think this card is kind of busy, so not my favorite, but it was a super fun challenge, something a little bit outside of my comfort zone, I would guess, I would say, but I had a lot of fun making it, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know which of the three cards was your favorite if you had one. I'll see you really soon in the next video, and if you play along with this challenge, don't forget to tag me so I can see. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.